Good afternoon, YouTube. Are you one of those lucky Americans that still has a pension plan? Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the options that you have when you reach retirement and dealing with that pension plan and some of the pitfalls and some of the things that you should be aware of so that you will not make some of the common mistakes. There's a very popular rule of thumb called the 6% rule when it comes to pensions. So say you're retiring now and your company is telling you that you're going to receive um, $2,000 a month. So if your annuity payments are $2,000 a month over the course of a year, it transitions to our totals up to $24,000. You would take that $24,000 annual payment amount and divide that by the lump sum. In this situation, the lump sum of $500,000 comes out to a return of 4.8%. That 4.8% is lower than 6%, which is typically what an average balanced portfolio, a fully diversified portfolio will give you if you're investing in the market. So the decision could be made that it's beneficial to take the $500,000 as a lump sum and invest it in the market in a fully diversified portfolio that's giving you on average about 6% um, in return and annual yield each year. Now let's say your annuity payments are a little bit higher. Let's say they're totaling the $3,000 a month, which is about $36,000 a year, and you have the same lump sum amount of 500,000. Now the scenario is different. Now you're receiving a 7.2% annual return on those annuity payments from your pension plan. That's greater than the 6% rule. In this situation, I always like to err inside of keeping the annuity payments flowing in because you'll be, having, you'll be receiving a larger return from the annuity than what you would on average by investing in a fully diversified portfolio in the market. Now again, this is over a full market cycle. This is not over any particular single year or single period of investing. One of the other things that you should consider too is do you want these funds to transition to the next generation? Um, once you die, and once your spouse die, if there is a spousal rider, the funds and annuity payments stop altogether. However, if you do have children that you want the funds to go to, or a foundation or a charity that you want the funds to go to, it may be beneficial to take the lump sum route. You can take the lump sum route and you can um, be able to transition those assets, whether it's through a trust or will, to the next generation. And if by chance you and your spouse both have a pension plan and you're lucky to both be receiving a pension in retirement, the decision can further be made to take annuity payments from whichever pension plan is going to offer you the largest return and take the lump sum from the other, um, the smaller return to have assets to go into the market to invest to transition towards um, the next generation to pass that wealth down. And if you have any questions about your pension plan, retirement account, or any investment questions that you have in general, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer those. Also, reach out to me directly um, at investments at warwickshore.com. Look forward to working with you.